So tomorrow I'm heading out on an adventure of um, working on two pieces. First, I'm going to Houston, Texas um, to make a new piece using the music of David Bowie. Um, and then right after that, I go to San Francisco for the premiere of another piece that I already made for San Francisco Ballet um, called The Big Hunger. And it's all this big Prokofiev score. Uh, so I'm going there just for the big premiere. Uh, so I'll be gone for five weeks. And so I got to pack for five weeks. So that's what I'm working on tonight. Come along, won't you? So in 2011, Houston Ballet opened up this great, brand new, state-of-the-art dance facility downtown in Houston. And uh, it's got like massive studios and lots of light and like all the latest equipment to be able to uh, create in. It's really amazing. So that's where I'm making this new piece. Oh, and that's me on the poster. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. One, two, three, four, five, six, two eights. And in place where you are now, could you just start that? Just like give yourself a little bit of room from even like maybe the five, six, seven, eight. Take a little bit of breath. So this piece is called Pretty Things. And it's about what it takes to be the kind of person who is really good at being seen or being a performer, like being, uh, being on stage. Um, and it's something I used to have judgments about because I always kind of considered it narcissism. But... I think being a performer is a great thing. And so, um, you know, I don't, I didn't want to be in a position of like judging a characteristic that actually lends itself to making someone a performer. Um, so I wanted to make this piece about what's a, like, what's a non judgy way to talk about uh, wanting to be in the spotlight and um, what might be really helpful about that characteristic. This is was pretty good today. I think you can lean into it more from the pirouette to okay. like cut out like the separateness of it. And yeah, there we go. Beautiful. That's great. Yeah. And so I think right here too, like exaggerate the hand so it looks like you're doing more than you really are. On it. Dun, dun. There we go. That's nice. That's great. Oh man, I'm so tired after day one. I could barely say words to you, but I will never record this first day because. Uh, I was feeling super weird after rehearsal. Like I've been out of the studio for several months focusing on other things. And so I walked in the day and it felt so foreign to me. Just like this, I don't know. It's like, like something from a long time ago that it was familiar with on one level, but was surreally so different. I, I, it's hard for me to exactly explain. I just felt weird. And I didn't feel like comfortable in my skin all day choreographing. Um, but I recognize that is something that happens pretty much every time starting something new. It just feels like, oh my God, like, is it even possible to make something from nothing? Like, who do I, just all the things, who do I think I am and all that crap. Uh, but I just like, I know the outcome of that, which is it could mean anything to the quality of the piece. The way I feel doesn't matter. Um, what matters is just to trust and have faith and to keep going. Um, so then I came back to the apartment afterwards and looked at the video from today and it looked really good. It looked like what I wanted it to. It looked like what I had been envisioning. Um, so it's just important to trust and, uh, you know, moods can come and go and there's a million different reasons to feel different ways and they're all good. They're all a-okay. Uh, so anyway, that's how the first day went and I'm tired. Click. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Run is done. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. That's great. Yeah, so let's say, let's actually nice to do it on seven. Bump and take him. That's it. Good. Nice. Dun, dun. Same thing here. That's it. Nice. You got it. Good. Good. So it would be nice if you were jumping up that way and fell down. It doesn't have to be a big thing, but I think just to launch off. Right. Yeah. Except, yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, so what's been the hardest thing about doing this job for this piece? Oh, my goodness. Well, as a dancer, you focus on yourself. 
So okay. with this, you are looking at this person, that person, they're doing the same thing at the same time, and you create pieces that move and move and move, which I love, but I have my eyes in a million places. My pen was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so trying to uh, find music, find the counts, because, well, thank goodness, a lot of the Bowie stuff is square with yeah. eights, so that has been a huge help. Um, but trying to multitask, figure out which step they're on, and what do you call this? You know, so I'm making up nicknames of steps, and I like when you're like, press a marshmallow, okay. or, you know, <laughs> you've got some little terms that I say, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use more of those. Yeah. Are these it, your notes here? These are my notes. What a hot mess. You know, lots of scribbled out, and this is just for time signatures, for when things start, so um, I have other notes that are written in Hebrew. I'm still figuring out how to notate. I never took a class in that, so um, in the moment, I'm with you, but then I go back and look and say, what does that mean, you know? So thank goodness that their minds are sharp and I'm grateful for that. So before I came, um, I made these magnets of the dancers' faces because uh, I didn't know a lot of them for one, so I could start to learn their names before I got here, but also just so I could kind of use them like little like chess pieces <laughs> to kind of move them around and um, just try different things of like formations and moving them through space and stuff. It worked pretty good. I would say it's just a lot of fun. All right. Um, I think your work method is very refreshing um, and uh, inspiring, actually. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. What a yeah. nice thing to hear. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Uh, so I've really enjoyed working with you, actually. Amazing. Yeah. Floor five. beginning of week three in Houston and um, I'm getting pretty close to the end there's just uh, it's the finale and I'm doing something kind of different with the finale so I'm taking my time with it um, it's gone really well like most days have been very special and very like just in the flow and the dancers have been incredible um, all that there was actually though one day I want to talk about when things didn't go well and it was um, I don't know about a week ago I guess and I just came in and like my first feeling was, and this is a familiar feeling, like, why, boy, the dancers, I like, the dancers are really scattered today. And, like, they have a scattered energy, and, you know, why aren't, like, having this conflict, like, why aren't they with me? And I don't know if that's the case or not, but, like, what I had to really stop and think was, oh, no, I'm off today. Like, I don't really feel in the flow. And so the energy doesn't feel right. And so I think, you know, it's just human nature. You start, like, looking for a thing, like, it must be that over there. And so I just had a realization, like, that moment in the studio, just, like, don't put that feeling off on them. You don't know where it's coming from. Just stay present and be like patient with yourself. And um, and it was really great because I like it was. It didn't feel like maybe the most productive day for me while I was doing it. But then again, like I said before, like afterward, it was still a really productive day. I just needed to like take it easy and not start to panic. That like I don't know. The feeling starts to feel like oh god, a million different things. But instead of like just thrusting it out outward and creating a conflict when there wasn't one, um, I just took it easy on everyone. And it was just one day. The next day I came right back and everything was fine. And it's been wonderful and it still continues to be wonderful. So uh, that's my special thought. Okay, a couple more minutes to finish and I'm there. So instead you guys step on the diagonal on the left foot and you're gonna do that the attitude sota you do earlier. So go one, two, send both arms, three, four that way, okay? Um, I want to see, I want them to actually just run through you guys, so I want to kind of just see how we would space that. I think you're mm -hmm. definitely, I, I see you like calmer and you see it, and I mean, although the work is very high energy, I think you've, I don't know, I definitely see, I mean, granted, I was eight years old back then, so I don't know, but I think you're, yeah, just like a, a, an art, you know, <laughs> like, you're, chill but not 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 a, like a you're still you're like high powered chill okay is that a thing we make me a t-shirt that says that high powered chill yeah would you yeah uh, today was my last day in the studio and um, it was went so it went so great and I'm so happy with the piece and how it's gone um, and the choreography and the dancers have been just amazing and it really strikes me too in this process of like you know being an artist who has to also 
manage a room full of people while you're creating is such a special opportunity because you have to like constantly be, you know, remain, remain self aware. And um, you have to, while trying to be creative and be a, ch a child in the room, also constantly have to be the adult in the room and um, stay in a really kind of like a very conscious and thoughtful place. Um, and it's one of the things I love about making choreography and uh, to do it with a, such a special group of dancers here at Houston has been pretty incredible. Uh, so anyway, I'm about to head off to San Francisco for the next premiere uh, before I return back. Um, but great trip in Houston and off to the next.